Saulei cilta, māmiņ jauka, abas vienu labumiņu. No saulītes silti rīti, no māmiņas mīri vārti. Mana balta māmulīte, mani balti audzināja, apvilkusi baltu kreklu, iecēj mani saulītē. Hey there, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Every week I create a free video lesson, usually on Fridays. So please feel free to share this video with those who might want to learn Latvian with me. But let's get to my today's lesson. And the today's lesson is dedicated to the Mother's Day. Because the Mother's Day is on the upcoming Sunday. The Latvian for the word mother is māte, but we don't use this word very often when we address our mothers or when we call our mothers or when we talk about our mothers. In fact, the first word that a child usually learns is mamma. It's similar to how it is in English. Do you call your mother mother or do you call her mom? or even mommy. I have read that in English it depends on the location how you call your mother, but in Latvian it depends on how much love you want to put into that word. These loving words in which we, the Latvians, can also call our mothers are māmiņa, māmuliņa, māmule, this is not very often used, but I have a relative who calls her mother Māmule. But there is a word, Māmulīte. This is used often, especially in Latvian folk songs. And then there are also words that are in masculine gender, but we still use them quite often. And they are Māmucis, Māmucītis. Mamuks and mamukinch. I actually use the word mamutsitis. But when I call my mom, then it is the vocative case. Remember, that's a lesson that I taught you before. So when I call her, then I drop the ending is. So I say mamutsit. But what do Latvians do on the Mother's Day? You probably know that Latvians are big on flowers, so usually every child would bring flowers to his or her mother. So how would we say in Latvian, a child gives flowers to mother? We don't need to use his or her in front of mother. In fact, let's say a child gives flowers to mom. The Latvian for the word child is bērns, and you already know the word gives, because we have learned sentences, somebody gives hand to somebody, remember that lesson? So this word is duod. The Latvian for the word flowers is puches, it is a plural form. The singular form is puče, and once more the plural form is puches. So you should already be able to figure out how to say a child gives flowers. That would be bērns dod puķes. Once more, bērns dod puķes. But now, how to use the word mom? How to use each of those words that stand for mom in Latvian? Those words that I just mentioned. I'll have them on the screen again. And please have a look at them and try to figure out how many types of endings there are, how you could classify these words, how you could group these words in columns according to their endings. Do you remember what was the ending of the first declension? It was either s or sh, and the ending of the second declension was is. The ending of the fourth declension was a, and there's also an ending e, which I haven't told you about. 
That is the default ending of declension number five. So now you should be able to group these words in four columns according to their endings. How about you pause this video, grab a pen and a pencil, and looking at this list of words, put them in four columns and resume playing after you've done it. All right. So, in the first column for the declension number one, you should have two words, mamux and mamukinj. And in the second column for the declension number two, you should have also two words, mamutsis and mamutsitis. How about the third column? The column for the declension number four. You should have three words, mamma, Māmiņa and Māmuliņa. And in the fourth column you should have also three words. That is the column for fifth declension nouns and those nouns that should be listed there are Māte, Māmule and Māmulīte. Do you have it that way? All right, you should be able to write the correct endings to the words mamuks, mamukinj, mamutsis, and mamutsitis. Because I have already taught you before how to change endings of these type of nouns when they are indirect objects in the sentence. Remember, I told you how to say Kaspars dod roku jānim. That's the video that you should look up in order to do that. But in this video I'm going to teach you how to appropriately change the ending for the fourth declension nouns. The nouns mamma, mamiņa and mamuliņa. And those sentences would be bērns dod puķes mammai. And the second sentence would be bērns dod puķes Māmiņai. And the third sentence would be Bērns dod puķes māmuliņai. If you want to learn more, for instance, how to change endings for this sentence to the words māte, māmule and māmulīte in a sentence like this, please subscribe to my emails because I'm going to send out that video lesson and I'm going to send out more training, so you might benefit from receiving my emails. And you can also ask questions to me by posting them under this video. And you know what also I would like to see? If you did that little exercise and changed the endings for the words that I taught you today that are the first and the second declension nouns, please post your sentences in the comment section under this video. And remember, I post free video lessons every week, usually on Fridays. So please share this video with those who want to learn Latvian. And if you are very serious about learning Latvian, I have an announcement. I have just reopened my signature course, Latvian for English Speakers. This course is for beginners or almost beginners. And if you start it now, you have a chance to learn speaking Latvian in one year. No guarantees, because you have to really learn. But why not now? Because after a year, you would regret that you didn't start today. All the information about my course will be sent to you via email if you have subscribed to receiving my emails. But now I'll say bye-bye and happy Mother's Day. See you next week.